Hello and welcome to another episode of US Cutter Quick Cuts and in today's episode we're going to show you how to perform a contour cut with the Titan 3 and Laser Point 3 vinyl cutters using the Sure Cuts A Lot Pro 4 software. If you're interested in seeing this done with the Prism Cut vinyl cutter, we've already got a series that shows you everything and more linked down in the video description below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give the video a like if you learned something. So here we are in the Sure Cuts A Lot software. The very first thing we want to do is bring the image into our software so that we can put the contour cut line around it. To do that, we are going up to the static toolbar and clicking the import button at the top, then selecting the image that we want to bring in and print. The acceptable files are .svg, .pdf, .eps, .ai, .plt, .png, .dxf, .wpc, and .gsd will work with Surecuts a lot Pro 4. I'm going to be using .png images in my example here today. When you load the image in, you want to resize it so that it fits inside your design with some room around the edge of your paper so that you have your registration marks required for the contour cut printed with ease. More on registration marks in just a moment because before we can place those down, we need to decide and set the contour cut line that we actually want the machine to cut. With the object selected, I will move up to the Effect drop-down menu and select the Shadow Layer option. This will bring up the Shadow Layer pop-up and this will then allow us to set the contour cut mark. We've got a few options on this screen. The first one is a drop-down menu that lets us select the type of shadow layers we want to use. Mitered is the default, but then you also have Rounded or Squared. Below that is the size sliding bar with a numerical readout on the right that you can also input stuff into and edit if you really want to be precise. You can also choose the color of the shadow, increase the number of layers, and also the size variance of each one of the layers. But since we're going to be using contour cutting, the only thing that we really need to check on this side is this little box here that says outline only. On the left side, you have the inset shadow box that will move the shadow line to the inside of the image. So if you have a design with a bleed area, you can move the contour cut line inside of that and have the machine cut there. Below that is the blackout shadow box and that will fill any holes if checked inside your contour cut line area. Below that is the print and cut box and of course we want to have that checked because we are going to be doing a print and cut. So make sure that's checked before you click OK. Once we click OK, the pop-up disappears and we can now press the cutter button in the static toolbar up top. This will bring up the cut settings pop-up we went over in the previous Quick Cuts video and you can find that on our YouTube channel and then also a link in the video description down below. We want to just click the print and cut button located in the bottom left hand corner to bring up the print and cut pop-up. From here we can select a pen tool or just our normal blade and we can also change some offset options but I don't recommend changing those unless instructed to do that. Of course, we do want to calibrate the machine, but in order to calibrate it, we need to print something out and start the scan process. The first thing that we want to do is click the print button. I set this design up on a letter sized area and left plenty of room around the edges for the registration marks. When you hit print, it will print the image with the registration marks around it. You don't want to put the marks so far on the edge that they don't print or in some cases the print manager will resize the job to make it fit on the page and that can really mess up the scan because your machine's expecting it to be one size and it's actually not. Once printed, you want to load it into your cutter. For letter size materials, I do recommend using a carrier sheet so you don't have to worry about your material shooting out of the machine and you can keep the rollers off the print. If you're cutting something like Easy Subly from Caesar or Green Star printable inkjet vinyl. If you're looking for a carrier sheet, just go to uscutter.com and then type in carrier sheet in the search bar. You want to load it into your vinyl cutter right side up like this and then set the origin point. 
If you're using the Titan 3, you will turn on the laser and then set it to the corner of the bottom right registration mark as shown right here in this spot. That's where you want to set the laser. To do that, just hit the laser button located on the top of the machine to turn it on and then hit the online offline button to pause the machine and then use the arrows to position the laser. Once you have it in the correct position, you want to hit the OK enter button and then your origin point is now set there. If you are using the laser point 3, then you want to set your origin point in this general area. You will also be lining up the tip of the blade as the origin point and not using the laser like the previous machine. To set the origin point on the laser point 3, you will push the local pause button located on the front of the machine. Once in the pause mode, you can then move the blade around using the arrow keys located on the front as well. Once you have it in the correct position, you want to push the origin button to set the origin point and then exit the offline mode. With the origin point set on your machine, you will then press the start scan button back on the Surecuts a lot software. If everything is lined up correctly, it should scan each origin point with ease. If you have the laser point 3, it will automatically begin cutting once the scan is complete. The Titan 3 had me click OK once the scan was done and then click the cut button on the Surecuts a lot program again. If this is your first time performing a contour cut, I seriously doubt it's going to be perfect, but if it is, that's awesome. You're most likely going to need to calibrate your machine if it isn't though. Now to do this, we could print out something and then switch over to the pen tool preset, but I decided to use the blade with a new printout each time so that I could get the most accurate calibration possible. To start the process, I'm going to print out a few copies of the design and then perform a contour cut. When you open up the calibration menu, it has the instructions located on the left side. I'll read them real quick to you. If objects are not cutting in the correct spot when doing a print and cut, you can enter the X and Y values to adjust where it cuts. If it cuts to the left, add to the X value. If it cuts a little bit to the right, subtract from the X value. If it's cutting below, then you want to add to the Y value. If it's cutting above where you want it to, then you need to subtract from the Y value. Very easy to follow instructions right there. It will just take you a few cuts to get it right, and you may find that leaving holes inside your outline also really helps with the calibration process. I know it did for me. I also found that once I calibrated it for my Titan 3, I didn't have to recalibrate it again when I switched over to the Laser Point 3. It may be different for some people, but I didn't have an issue at all. What if we were contour cutting something that's laminated? It is going to be a little bit thicker, so I would recommend switching to a 60 degree blade and increasing the pressure of your machine. Make sure you always do a test cut too. If you have any sales related questions about this software or any of our products that we offer, you can reach our sales team at sales at uscutter.com and every single item that we offer comes with lifetime customer support for no additional charge and you can reach our support team at support at uscutter.com. Thank you as always for taking the time to watch this and have yourself a wonderful day.